Good morning, brothers and sisters of Christ. Um, maybe afternoon, some other places. Um, the Lord woke me up with this word, um, and I have to share it. It's a warning. He um, talking about the the shepherd, the pastors, the leaders that's supposed to be leading this flock, and they they really failed them. So he's just saying that they were irresponsible and they didn't do their job. But every you have to reap what you sow, and, and um, he's taking away positions and he's punishing them because they failed them. So now he's gonna pick up and he's taking care of his flock and leading them and directing them and where they need to be going because they failed him. They um, they didn't do their job. The leaders and the uh, pastors, uh, the shepherds, they didn't lead the flock. So they really failed to fail the flock and really failed Jesus. So. Let's go into Ezekiel 34, and I'm going to read this passage to you. I always advise you to read, get your own Bibles and read for yourself. Don't go off what anybody else say. You read it for yourself. So we're going to read Ezekiel 34. It's a long passage, but listen clearly to what he's saying. And I'm reading out the New King James Bible. That way maybe people can understand a little more than, you know, uh, King James with the Greek language. So we're going to go with Ezekiel 34, and it's called, uh, it's, we're going to call this topic, Irresponsible Shepherds. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, Thus said the Lord God to the shepherds, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who feed, who feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flocks? You eat the fat and clothe yourself with the wool. You slaughter the fat in me, but you did not feed the flock. The weak have not strengthened, nor have you healed those who were sick, nor bound up the broken, nor brought back what was driven away, nor sought what was lost, but you forced and cruelty, and cruelty you have ruled them. So they have scattered because there was no shepherd, and they became food for all the beasts of the field when they were scattering. When they were scattered, my sheep wandered through all the mountains and every high hill. Yes, my flock was scattered over the whole face of the earth, and no one was seeking them or searching for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, say the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became food for every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, nor did my shepherd search for my flock. But the shepherd fed themselves and did not feed my flock. Therefore, O shepherd, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at, my, at their hand. I will cause them to cease feeding the sheep, and the shepherds shall feed themselves no more. For I will deliver my flock from their mouth, from their mouth and they may no longer be food for them. For thus said the Lord God, Indeed, indeed, I myself would search for my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock on the day he is among his scattered sheep, so will I seek out my shepherd and deliver them from all places where they were shattered on a cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the people, from the peoples, and gather them from the countries. I will bring them from their own land. I will feed them on the mountain of Israel, in the valley, and all in the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in good pasture, and their foes shall be on the high mountain of Israel. There they shall lie down in the good fold, and feed in rich pastures on the mountain of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek what was lost, and bring back what was driven away, bind up and broken and strengthened what was sick, but I will destroy the fat and the strong and feed them in judgment. And as for you, O my flock, thus said the Lord, behold, I shall judge between sheep and sheep, between ram and goats, rams and goats. It is too little for you to have eaten up the good pasture that you must tread down with your feet and residue on your, and residue on your pasture and to have drunk of the clear water you must foul the residue with your feet. And as for my flock, they eat what you have trampled with your feet, and they drink what you have fouled with your feet. Therefore, 
Thus saith the Lord God to them, Behold, myself I will judge between the fat and the lean sheep, because you have pushed with, with side and shoulder, butted all the weak ones with your horns, and scattered them around. Therefore I will save my flock, and they shall longer, and they shall no longer be prey. I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will establish one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them. My servant David, he shall feed them and their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David, the, a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make a covenant of peace with them, and cause wild beasts to cease from the land. And they will dwell safely in the wilderness, and the sheep of the woods. And the sheep in the woods. I will make them and place them all around my hills of blessings, and I will cause sh showers, and I will cause showers to come down in their season. There shall be showers of blessings. Then the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase. They shall be safe in their land, and they shall know that I am the the Lord. I will have broken the bands of their yoke and delivered them from the hands of those who enslaved them. For they shall no longer be a prey for the nations, nor shall beasts of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely, and no one shall make them afraid. I will raise up for them a garden of re-owned, and they shall no longer be consumed with hunger in the land, nor bear the shame of the Gentiles any more. Thus said, thus they shall know that I am the Lord their God, and with them and they, the house of Israel, are my people, said the Lord God. You are my flock, the flock of my pastors, and you are my are men, and I am your God, said the Lord God. So you see in this pas in this passage right here in the scripture, he's saying how he the he, the flock didn't the shepherd didn't he have um they failed the flock. They was all for themselves, and they ate all the good, the good, you know, the good stuff for themselves. But they left the uh, the flock unattended, and have them hungry for the word of the Lord, and seeking the Lord, you know, just lost. And the Lord saying that they're going, He tearing them down, that He's replacing them with new, new leaders and new, new ministers and and uh, shepherds, and He gonna bring people, uh, them to be head over the other flocks. So really now, it's just the point is that the Lord is doing a revival. Uh, He's bringing them from different countries all over. He's not leaving out anyone, any of his sheep, and he's raising them up. And he letting everybody know that he's going out there, and they, he's going to take care of them, and he's going to have their sheep, and he's going to feed them, and they're going to conquer the world for the world, for the, uh, conquer the world for the Lord Christ Jesus, and that, he is, and that we are his people. So all y'all just be aware. And know that when you think God, that you know you went to church and you be feeding the word and, and we have been church hurt and, and the pastors ain't giving us the word and they letting us down. But God's saying that he's raising up good men and women, good 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 leaders, good men and women of God. And we're going to push forward and he's going to have them to redirect you and guide you in the path that you need to go. So, and knowing that you are you're a God and his people. So you are never, uh, he never leave us or forsake us, and you never forgotten. So keep pressing. My main word, gonna keep pressing. And for those leaders that disappointed God and his flock, be aware our judgment day is coming. And God gonna judge us all. And you were held accountable to the word of God. And you're supposed to be delivering his people and seeking them out and feeding their flock. But you was only all thirsty just for yourself. But know that God sees everything. And he He always take he, he a man in his word. And we should never play with God. People have been playing with God for a long time. They've been hiding behind the pool pit and just being lovers of themselves and was there for the wrong reasons. May stepped in the right way, but left out and got caught up in the midst of this world. So just be aware on judgment day is coming. For repent for God the, the uh the hand of, he of heavens is soon. Well, how they say it? The, uh, the hand of God is soon. It's real soon. It's at hand. 
Y'all gotta excuse me, you know, I'm still kind of new at this too, so I'm kind of shy and I'm speaking the word. But I know God is with me. So this morning, he woke me up and he got me on Irresponsible Shepherds. So you guys be blessed. May this scripture and this passage bless someone. And those that run across this and you was a shepherd and you didn't do what you need to do to feed his flock and you came in love with yourself, repent and go to the Lord. God bless you guys. Uh, stay strong and keep your eyes on the Lord and in your word. In Jesus' mighty name, love you guys.